Hi, Dorji McKinnon here with another Vajra video series that's helping internet and digital workplace professionals get stuff done. Hi everybody and welcome back. We are talking about SharePoint Online and Search. In today's episode we're going to look at how you can improve search using the reporting that's available out of the box in 10 minutes or less. Cool, let's go. So first off, we need to get into where you can see your search stats and reports. Um, you'll need certain permissions and that sort of thing. So assuming you've got all that sorted out, go to site settings and then click on popularity and search reports. That takes you to this page and there's a bunch of reports here. Some of them I find more useful than others and I'm only going to talk about two today because we're going to give you something you can do in 10 minutes or less a week that will help your search results and therefore your users. Okay, so the two that we're going to look at are no result by query by month and abandoned queries by month. These two reports are going to help you improve the quality of the search results both by sitting at your desk and doing some stuff, but also by going out to your content creators and your users and letting them know what's going on and engaging them. Okay. Result queries by month. Um, this report gives you a list of terms that people have searched for and then the, query, the number of queries and then in the final column over here on the right, the percent with no, res with no um, results. So we've got no results when we search for um, Kirsten, for example, or Dorji, um, or manufacturing. manufacturing. Um, you know, kind of expect there wouldn't be any results there, but we could still improve things a little. For example, Dorji, um, you know, it's just a spelling mistake, but it's an easy one to make because I have an unusual name, so maybe we could add in a best bid or um, a query result that helps with that. So. What does this give you? Um, here's an, that, that report there is just an example. Um, and if we go the next step, it gives you terms where there's no results, obviously. And that tells you that the content either doesn't exist or that the language that's being used by the users doesn't match the language being used by the content creators. And this is the sort of the, the big one here. Um, if you can then use this report to engage the content owners and the content creators and show them that um, their engineering report isn't being looked at because it uses the term engineering instead of manufacturing, um, then you can begin to get them to be more user focused. Um, and the other way to do this is they can change the content or you could add a query rule that promotes the content and um, has uh, by adding synonyms to them. Now we won't get into query rules if you want to do something about that, go and check out the interwebs. Um, there's plenty of stuff about SharePoint Online and query rules. But yep, the abandoned query or the next report, abandoned queries by month. Um, in this case, we're looking at result sets for a query that don't get clicked on. Um, and the trick with these is there's very low click-through rate. So that tends to indicate that there's really, really poor quality set of results, but there are results, you know, there are documents or what have you, but they're, they're not the ones that the person doing the search intended. So they've used a word that's brought back a big bunch of results and it isn't the ones that they were thinking would come back, so they don't click on anything. Now there's a couple of ways you can you can slice this cat. Um, in, in the example I've got here, you can um, create wayfinding pages and then promote those using query rules. And the wayfinding pages, um, one, use, one useful way that I've found to, to do this is to separate on your wayfinding page, talk about two different types of users. So um, uh, say engineers and builders. Um, and just by asking them that question, you can then contextualize the results that they get to. So uh, I'm an engineer, click, and therefore you bring back a set of results they have used, which is more appropriate to that type of user. Um, it takes a bit of doing, but within the bounds of 10 minutes a week, at least you'll be getting somewhat better results and or identifying areas where you need to do some more work, perhaps in your IA. Okay, so what have we talked about? In 10 minutes a week, you should look at these two reports, no results queried by month and the abandoned queries by month. 
Um, what I'd do is 10 minutes this week on one of the reports, 10 minutes next week on the other report. And then using some of the tips I've given you and your own insights, because you know your own organisation best, adapt the results and improve the results over time. And what I found really effective is reporting back to staff in a news post or a blog post to the organisation every few weeks about what you've changed to make things better and what the result has been. So if you do improve things, go out and find out how it's made people's lives better and tell that story. It's really valuable. Leave a comment below if you've got some questions. Love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, everyone. This has been another Vajra video by me, Dorji McKinnon. If you need some help across the interwebs via desktop sharing or in person, contact me at www.vajra.co.nz. Good luck and happy intraneting.